I am a city person. I grew up in Moscow, then I lived in New York, in Boston, in Houston, and I never intended to move so much. It's very difficult for me. So after I moved to Philadelphia in 2008, I felt certain resentment to New City. I wasn't in love with it, which is necessary if you want to paint uh, the city and it took me a very long time to adjust it, very long time to find new places and select things that I would like to paint in Philly. This is a little bookstore on Fairmount Street. I used to live there and when I was passing by I felt that it's such a charming, you know, mom and pop store, uh, not like Barnes and Noble. And then all of a sudden I understood that I wanted to paint it and I probably became a local attraction because I was coming there for something like 15 times. Sometimes the light wasn't right and I would come and install my easel and then leave where it would be too windy. But uh, finally I was able to do it and I felt that for this time I became a local attraction. I was standing there in my straw hat and apron and gloves and it was middle of November so I was looking probably very strange but at the same time I felt that I'm a very happy person. I do what I'm supposed to do and there isn't anything else I want to do in this life. This place is just around the corner from where the gallery is on 2nd Street and I was very much attracted by this combination of some smaller houses and then larger buildings in the back. It felt to me like it was, a, you know, the quintessential American city. So that was what attracted me. And I, in general, like this area very much. I painted a lot of things here, for instance, I painted several works on Alfred's Alley, which is also right around the corner. I went up the second street and painted uh, restaurants on there. I think that happened because I saw a lot of art here and when I go to shows my aesthetic juices, so to speak, start to go up and that what makes me visually more perceptive to what I see.